Property taxes have always been a hot topic here in Milwaukee, but especially right now because the market is so hot and home values are up. And if you live here in Milwaukee, you have probably gotten one of these in the mail last week. Now, most people already know from the news that in 2022, property assessments were up on average 18%. And they assume that that also means that their property taxes are going to be up 18%. Now, fortunately, that is not the case, but I wanted to make this video because a lot of people get this completely wrong. So today I want to talk about how Milwaukee property taxes actually work, why they are so high, and what you can do about that. All right, let's get to it. So how do property taxes actually work in Milwaukee? So most people think that if a home's assessed value goes up, then the city can collect more in tax revenue on that home. And therefore, the city would have an incentive to actually drive up the assessed value so they can collect more in taxes. And I'm not saying that the city would not like that. I think they would totally love to have more money to spend, but that is actually not how it works. In reality, they're actually a lot more disconnected than you might think. The city's total tax levy, so how much they're going to collect in taxes, are actually set long before the assessments are happening. So for 2022, for example, we have a total tax levy budget of $305 million. And regardless, if the assessments turn out to be up or down or sideways, the city is going to collect precisely $305 million. Just to be clear and only as an example, imagine if every property in Milwaukee would suddenly double in value. The city would still only collect $305 million and not all of a sudden double of that amount. So to sum it up, the property assessment does not determine how much you're actually paying in property taxes. The property assessment only determines how big of a share of the total $305 million you're responsible for. So the real question becomes, did your property assessed value go up or down relative to the rest of the city? Because that determines if you have to pay a bigger or a smaller share. Next question, if you think that your property assessment is incorrect, what can you do? Well, now that you know that the city assessor has no incentive to artificially drive up your property value, it is still entirely possible that they just screwed it up. The assessment is based on math. And if the assessor thinks that your house has five bedrooms, but it really has only three, it is entirely possible that your assessment is wrong. So you can just go to the city hall and appeal that assessment. They have an open book period until May 16th, and you can just have your case reviewed. In my experience, the city assessors actually really helpful and more than happy to review any supporting documentation you bring along and make the necessary corrections and adjustments. I've also heard that a lot of people are just calling to complain and of course that doesn't work. So pro tip, do your homework, bring some supporting documentation and have your case reviewed. If you're looking for contact information, phone number, email address, I'll put a link in the description below. Last question, why are Milwaukee property taxes so high? The answer might surprise you, but there is actually a logical explanation for this. You see, most American cities comparable to Milwaukee generate only about half of their budget through property taxes. The other half of their budget is created with other forms of taxation, such as city sales tax or a city income tax. Milwaukee does not have these options. It relies solely on property taxes to fund its entire budget. For example, take a look at our southern neighbor, Chicago. Their sales tax is 10.25%. Our sales tax in Milwaukee is so low that most people don't actually know precisely how much it is. It is 5.6% if you're wondering. And of course, the city of Milwaukee is losing out a major source of revenue that other cities would have. Milwaukee also does not have a city income tax. And the funny thing about that is, for you and me, we're saying, of course, there's no city income tax. But it's interesting when you work with people that are actually relocating from different states into Milwaukee and they're asking you, so there is no city income tax and the sales tax is only 5.6%. So when you total it all up, the total taxation in Milwaukee is actually not that bad. It's just that the property taxes really stand out because it's that one big bill that you get slapped in your face at the end of the year and nobody likes that. Taxes are always a complicated topic and I hope I don't get roasted too bad in the comments below for oversimplifying the topic, but I wanted to make sure I'm not putting you to sleep and still deliver the main points. If I did that, then 
please give the video a thumbs up. It will help it to spread to more people in Milwaukee who need to have this information or even better yet, share it with a friend. On this channel, I cover everything that has to do with Milwaukee real estate, tips and tricks for buying and selling, market updates, the best neighborhoods, etc. So if you want to stay updated on everything real estate in Milwaukee, please consider subscribing. That's all I had for you today. I'll see you at the next one.